Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from September 2nd to the 8th and I'm using this Coraline themed kit. I think it's called The Other Mother from the Pink Planner Shop. It is another printable kit and I chose this for this week because I, I really don't have a reason. It just fit, so we're using it. It it feels like a September kit to me and I have a lot of Halloween kits, probably enough for the next three or four years, so you know. Even though this feels very Halloween-y to me, uh, we don't have room for her, so she's going here. Um, you will see at the end that I screw up the bottom washi. I couldn't decide if I wanted to add these two thin purple strips. Oh, Jesus. Over the, like, cloud washi, and I decided I would wait until the end to make my decision, and then I accidentally sort of dropped the washi on top of the other washi and it ripped and it was a whole thing and then I sort of had no choice but to add the purple washi in order to cover my mistake so uh, you'll see I had to whip out a glue stick and everything to fix it but I'm I'm not mad at it I think it looks nice I also couldn't decide if I wanted to do date covers and I kind of regret not doing them I don't know. I don't know. All in all, I'm happy with how this came out except one thing. And I am so mad at myself that I didn't double check my plans because the welcome home cake box, I was like, oh my God, this would be so cute if I used it on the day that Megan is officially back in Philadelphia full time, my roommate. But I was like, no, she's not back until next week. So it doesn't matter. And there was a lot of pink going on, so I opted not to use the welcome home cake box. <clears throat> but then I realized she came home on Friday. I just wasn't home this weekend, so to me, she was like really home the following week, but I could have used it on Friday, and I even thought about putting it there, but it just didn't look as nice to me because of the house double box that I'm putting down because that's so pink. And then having another pink box directly next to it, I wouldn't have liked. And then I also would have had to put the cat somewhere else because I'm not leaving the cat out. There's no way in hell. So I just, I just didn't do it. It was a missed opportunity. And I even thought about it, but I was so confident that she came home next week. So whatever, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. As far as things that happened this week, um, Monday, if you saw my last plan with me, I drank heavily for the first time in years and this was potentially potentially the worst hangover I've ever had um, because I didn't I didn't puke or anything. Sorry, gross. but like so I just felt awful all day and I showered when I woke up um, and being in the shower, I was like, almost in tears because I just needed to go back and lie down because my head hurt so bad. My stomach hurt so bad. Standing hurt. Um, it was, I definitely regretted it. And it's one of those things where I'm like trying to be a people pleaser and it backfired. And just in case you missed my last plan with me, I got, I got hurt. I got injured. The host of the party fell on me and a table fell on me. Um, and it was like a really hard impact. Uh, so I got very hurt and in order to keep from crying and in order to not ruin the party, I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's take shots. And then I blacked out for a little bit. So I paid dearly for it Monday. And next time I'm just going to cry and, and make my boyfriend take me home, which is what I should have done in the first place. Um, anyway, anyway. <laughs> so that was the majority of my Monday. Um, also, it was a holiday, so luckily I didn't have work or anything. I probably would have had to call out. I couldn't even sit up. Um, but then uh, later in like the late afternoon, early evening, Joe's friend who was visiting from Austin, he and his wife and their baby came over and we went to get his friend's favorite pizza. Um, and I survived. I survived. But um, yeah it was a bad day for me. And then it was pretty much business as usual. I did attempt to order Chipotle again on Tuesday. I just really wanted it really badly. And I had a Chipotle gift card. So I placed an order for 
delivery and this time they didn't steal my food. I have not ordered delivery since my food was stolen, if you guys remember that. I think that was last year. Um, but it was completely wrong. It was totally wrong. I fortunately was able to eat it. It wasn't like anything nasty, but it didn't taste the way I wanted it to. And I paid extra for the burrito wrapper. So they did give me a coupon for a free entree, but it, it kind of annoys me that they don't also cover the cost of the uh, burrito wrapper because I don't know, it's like part of the meal, but whatever, whatever, it's fine. So I did end up using that coupon in person, not delivery. And I did have to pay for the burrito wrapper, but it's fine. It's fine. At least I got a free meal out of this this deal. Um, and then other than that, what happened? Um, not much. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay, so I think the only other thing I need to speak about uh, is my grandmother. Um my boyfriend and I went to go see her on Sunday and it was one of the worst visits I've had with her in a really long time and I specifically wanted to get lunch with her and I told her this so that way I could get home earlier and have like a little bit of my Sunday. I also needed to go I think to Target or Walmart I can't remember to like get something like cat litter or who knows um, but I just I I really wanted like a little bit of my weekend because my Friday and Saturday were taken op- over with other shit you'll see but um so I was like I basically whatever I'll just say all Friday night I watched uh Joe fix his car then Saturday I had to be a good sport and spend the entire day with Joe's friends for um one of their birthdays so then Sunday I had to see my grandmother and I just really didn't want it to be an all day thing. I needed like some time to myself and it's just not what happened. So I saw her early. We went to Chili's for lunch and our waitress had like a chest tattoo. And so my grandmother being the entitled, she's actually not a boomer. She's from like the silent generation. I think that's what she called. She's called. That's how old she is. Um, but being the entitled old lady that she is, she like motions to the, to the waitress and the waitress bends down and my grandmother, uh, opens up the waitress's shirt more so that she could see the whole tattoo. And I am mortified and I'm like, oh my God, grandma, you can't touch people. You can't do that. You have to ask, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yes, I can. And she, oh my God, luckily the waitress was nice and she understood that clearly my grandmother's fucking insane, but I was so embarrassed. And then um, for like 10 minutes, my grandmother was trying to say like, I can do whatever I want. I'm not a man, I can touch her. I was like, no, you can't. That's not how it works. You don't get to touch people without their permission. And she's like, well, then maybe she shouldn't have a chest tattoo if she doesn't want people trying to see it. Like it was, it was a whole thing. The whole meal was just not enjoyable. She was on another level. She also no longer asks about other people. Um, It's very rare. She did today text me and ask me about something. So at least there was that. But basically any time with her, it's just a monologue about herself. And if I ask her about anybody else, she goes, they're fine. And then starts talking about herself again. Um and then repeating herself and she will interrupt you to continue to talk about herself like she kept interrupting joe just to play me a recording she made of herself breathing as if i give a shit but i had to pretend to and then um i wanted to drop her off after lunch and leave and she was like i want to go shopping take me to kohl's and she's like i need new slippers and so joe waited on her basically hand and foot getting her slippers putting them on her feet so she wouldn't have to bend And that took forever. And then she's like, oh, I need water. I need water this second. So I had to run across the highway basically to get her water um, because she didn't bring any. And then by the time I got back, she was like, oh, I was going to call you to tell you. Or Joe was like, I was going to call you to tell you that they gave her water. But she said no because she wanted the water you were getting. She didn't drink it. She didn't drink the water I got her. 
And then we went back to my uncle's place where my grandmother lives. And at this point, it's much later than I wanted it to be because also keep in mind, she is 90 and she can barely walk. So everything takes a very long time with her. And she needs me to fix something for CVS. And then she's on the phone with my mom and she tells my mom that if my mom comes now, that I will stay and wait for my mom to get there, which I absolutely did not say. I actually told her, I can't wait for my mom. I have to leave. And then she lied to my mom and said we were going to stay. So then I stayed because I felt guilty. Um, I'm sure you can see where this is going. I didn't get home until 9 p.m. So I didn't have a Sunday. And I know that she's going to die soon and I should like appreciate the time I have with her, but it's really fucking hard sometimes. Now, I have seen her since and the last time I saw her, it was it was good. It was really good and it was short and sweet. It was like a couple hours and then I and then I went about my life. Um, but just having a full day of her yelling and being mean and demanding is exhausting and she also just I'm not even going to repeat what she said because it was so vile but she said some really cruel things to my uncle's boyfriend's daughter who is like special needs it it was just terrible it was terrible and so I yelled at my grandmother for yelling at um for yelling at her and then she got all huffy and childish and then she demanded I fix her excel like it was I anyway <laughs> That was basically my week, and then I, like, cried all Sunday night. So it was, it was, uh, my week was whatever. Monday sucked, which was my paid holiday, so that sucked. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday sucked. But anyway, now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the day by day. So starting with Monday, the first thing I marked was that I had the worst hangover of my life, definitely my adult life, and I used a rabbit hole handcraft sticker for that. I am really liking these stickers. My only complaint, because this is a newer shop to me, is that the cut line, the space between the sticker and the cut line is a little too wide, um, and so sometimes I will go in myself and cut around the sticker, which sort of defeats the purpose of like purchasing I mean, this is, this is like her artwork. So there is that. I'm not, I'm not saying that they're not worth it. I just hope that maybe she adjusts that a little bit in the future. Um, because it's just a very big white, white, um, what's it called? It's not called a border, but, um, anyway, you know what I mean? Then under that, with this sleeping emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., I marked that I slept all day. I took a very difficult shower and used this Piper Paper Company sticker for that. Then with a Stick with the Plan Co. baby sticker, I marked that Joe's friend, his wife, and child came over. With this munchkin from Once More With Love holding a slice of pizza, I marked that we went to his best friend's favorite pizza place. It's actually in the suburbs of philadelphia because that's where he's originally from so it's like his hometown childhood pizza place so we went there with this alarm clock that's left over from a kit from i don't know when um i marked that i was getting really anxious about the time because i was going to have to drive home and find parking because i had to be in office on tuesday and joe was trying to convince me to like just stay home on tuesday but um i don't know i i do every once in a while stay home when I'm not supposed to especially because like my boss is not in town um she's working remote in Denver but I don't know for whatever reason I was feeling anxious about like breaking the rules this day I don't know why so I felt like I needed to go home so then with this car from the prairie planner I marked that I got a shit parking spot but at least I got one Then the final thing for Monday with this trash sticker from the kit was that I had a bunch of chores I had to do before I could go to bed. And I think I got home at like 10 p.m., but I had to do the litter, take out the trash, you know, do all my getting ready for bed shit and make my lunch for the office. So it was a long day and I was not feeling great. Like all the way, I was a trooper, okay? At least I didn't fucking cancel, okay? I went. I hung out with everybody, I chatted, I ate pizza, even though all I wanted to do was go to bed. Then moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked was that I was still feeling like garbage. I wasn't hung over anymore, thank God, but my entire like 
body. I just felt really tired. And I think it's, it was still the COVID to be honest. Um, I wasn't over that. And obviously drinking is not going to help you recover. Like what a stupid thing to do, but peer pressure. Then with this laptop from the kit, I marked that I was in office and with this back pain munchkin, I marked that my neck and back hurt so badly. My neck, I was sore for days, for days. It hurt to move it. Um, and again, I think I had whiplash, but I don't actually know. I need to Google exactly what that is because I think I had it. And then my back, my entire back was bruised. And so every time I took a step walking to the office, my backpack would hit my back and it was very painful. Um, also, the back of my legs were bruised. So I just was not, I was not feeling great. With this Prairie Planner phone sticker, I marked that I played my phone game a lot this day just because I was in a bad mood and I did not care to be doing work so I just did what I had to do and then like played on my phone for the rest of the time with this Trader Joe's munchkin sticker I marked that I went to Trader Joe's and got some of my favorite staples to have so that I'd have them for the week and then when I got home I like did all my shit got ready for bed basically and then ordered chipotle and of course it was wrong but i used this sticky perk sticker to mark that and then the final thing on tuesday with this reading flat lay from i think the prairie planner as well i marked that i read moving on to wednesday the first thing i marked was that i was feeling very sad and anxious when i first woke up like not just my normal annoyed self that I'm awake, like I was really sad and then also just anxious and I don't know why. So I used a not a good day munchkin for that. With another laptop from the kit, I marked that I was in office. Then with another one of these back pain munchkins, I marked that I was still really, really sore. Like I was no better at this point. Then with this orthodontist sticker from Rabbit Hole, I marked that I took uh, or I didn't take anything. I went to the orthodontist and they took my attachments off because we're like on the last few sets of Invisalign. Um, not excited for the retainer only because I was doing some Google research and it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. So that sucks. But um, I might, I might just ask for one for my birthday and just be like to my grandma and I'll, I'll just ask her to get it for me whenever I'm done. And that will be my, my birthday and my Christmas gift because I think it's going to be like $200. Anyway, then with these sneakers from the kit, I marked that I did 10,000 steps with this vacuum from, damn it, I always forget the name of this shop and I even looked it up this time. Anyway, it's a printable. If you want to know, I'll, I'll find out. Um, I marked that I vacuumed with a stick with the plan co girl. I marked that I planned. Then with this munchkin watching TV, I watched uh, Repo, the genetic opera yet again. I think I've seen this movie like maybe 15 times. No joke. I even watched it twice this week as background noise. I love that movie and I know it's weird and it's not everybody's cup of tea and some of the singing is cringe and Paris Hilton is cringe and everything is cringe. I fucking love it. I could watch that movie once a week until the day I die. I don't know why. And then the final thing for Wednesday with this, ooh, shit. <sighs> shit. Fox and Cactus, maybe? Damn it. I can't remember. I think my friend Alex gave me this. I can't remember. Anyway, with this sticker sticker, I marked that I pulled. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked was that I had a bunch of Janet cuddles first thing in the morning, which was nice, but also very tricky. She is very cuddly during the colder months in the morning, and it's even harder to get out of bed. I already struggle, uh, but I, I love it at the same time. So I used an emoji for that. Then with this procrastination munchkin and another laptop from the kit, I just marked that work was really, really busy this day and like not in a good way. Sometimes it's good because it's making the time go by, but this was like stressful busy, you know? With this laundry sticker from the kit, I marked that I washed my sheets and then I took an everything shower and used this shaving munchkin for that. With an editing emoji, I marked that I did a voiceover and edited. Then with this YouTube sticker from Carly Plans, I marked that I watched a ton of spooky astronauts. I just really, really like her. Um, she and I have almost identical movie taste. I think, I don't know what she likes in other genres besides horror, but um, she and I like a lot of the same types of movies, so I really like her channel. And then with this Fox and Cactus silhouette, I marked that I print and cut a kit. Then with this 
munchkin making the bed i marked that i made my bed and yes it does deserve a separate sticker from the laundry sticker because that's how much i hate it then with this nail polish sticker i've had for forever i have no idea where it came from i marked that i did my nails and then the final thing with this tired face from rabbit hole i marked that i stayed up until 1 30 a.m Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked was that I worked remote and I used a Stick with a Plan Co. Girl for that. With this bucket from the kit, I marked that I cleaned my kitchen. With this sticker sticker I, from the Prairie Planner, I believe, I marked that I pulled stickers. With this Planning Roses Rent Due House, um, I just cut off the rent due. I marked that my roommate was officially home, like for good. Then with this sad emoji, I marked that I was very tired and weak. Again, I think just from having COVID, it was it was still, it was still rough. With this Prairie Planner sticker, this mechanic sticker, I marked that I watched Joe fix his car all night. It was a whole thing and he was really struggling, which is wild because he's removed and replaced his axle before and had to remove his axle in order to get to a different part another time. But for whatever reason, this time getting his axle like back in his car for some reason and like a certain part was stuck or I don't know but it, I don't think he finished until like midnight or something I think like it was really late it might have even been like one in the morning it was really late by the time he finally finished his car and it was all because he needed to get this one uh car part in the right spot and it was like an inch out of like an inch in the wrong spot if that makes any sense but anyway at one point um he decided to rage quit so that we could go get froyo because they were having i think five ounces free so we walked to the frozen yogurt place and um he felt bad that like he was using up the entire night and we were just like outside miserable. Um, so he paid for my frozen yogurt as well because I did get more than five ounces. And this is a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker. Then with a munchkin, I marked that he finally got it. I was getting nervous. He always manages to get it eventually, but I was getting nervous. Um, but I'm, just, I'm just glad it was over. And even though I was deathly tired, I was so exhausted. And like I said, I was feeling weak earlier that day. I sucked it up and watched the challenge because I felt bad that he just had a really rough night. And um, I don't know, I didn't think he'd be too happy if I just like went to bed the second he was done. So we watched the challenge and then went to bed. Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that I had my Red Bull and I used an emoji for that. With this Scribble Prince Co. icon, I marked that I got ready for the day. With this uh, money sticker from the kit, I marked that I did my budget for September. With this party hat sticker from the Prairie Planner, I marked that it was Joe's friend's birthday. And then with this emo munchkin, I just marked that I, like, they brought up a subject that I didn't feel like talking about, so I didn't. Um, just... I don't know, it was like a concert and I just did not want to talk about it. Then with this emoji looking awkward, I think this is a cringe emoji. I marked, I marked that I had to pretend all night that I was like happy and enjoying myself. Which I did, I did, but like, <sighs> I wanted to leave. Then with this stick with the plan coat girl, I marked that the food was bad at the restaurant. It like wasn't good. And then we went to get ice cream after and the ice cream was bad. Like everything was just bad. Um, but it's okay. I mean, like some of it was fun. I was just so tired and like I didn't want to do anything, but whatever. I was trying to be a good sport because um, I'm one of those people where like, you know, I'm upset. You know, I don't want to be there. And I'm trying to work on like pretending to want to be places when I don't so that other people, you know, don't feel bad that I hate what we're doing. <laughs> um, and I, and well, I don't know. I think I did a good job. Then with this Fox and Cactus sticker, I marked that we were just sitting, just sitting, watching music videos. I was bored out of my skull and ready to go. And then the final thing with this TV sticker that you'll see, I cut um, the rest of the label off of it and just used the TV. I've had this sticker forever. I don't even know where it came from, um, but I was excited to finally use it. Anyway, I marked that we watched half of the movie The Orphanage, which was on my list of movies to watch. Very good twist at the end if you're interested. 
I think it was produced by Guillermo del Toro, not directed though. Um, But anyway, uh, by the time we got back, it was late and Joe was actually falling asleep during the movie. So if he's falling asleep, that means it's time for bed. So um, we turned it off. Then moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked with a Prairie Planner makeup sticker was that I got ready. Then with another SPC icon, I marked that we drove to see my grandmother. With this chip sticker from Fox and Cactus, I marked that we went to Chili's. With an OMG Rabbit Hole Sticker Co. Girl, I marked that my grandmother touched the waitress. Then with this Why Me Munchkin, I marked that I didn't want to shop. With this medicine sticker from the kit, I marked that it was just a whole thing with CVS. My grandmother was being an old person and I like needed to help her because she doesn't understand how CVS works, I guess. Then with this munchkin looking all sneaky, I marked that my grandmother told my mom that we would stay after I deliberately said we would not stay and that I had to leave. Then with this Carly Plans Target sticker, I marked that we went to Target, so that's where I had to go, and Aldi. And then with a Prairie Planner tire, I marked that Joe filled my tires and my coolant in my car because I was so sad that it was so late and I had to get ready for bed and stuff so in order to save me a little bit of time he took care of my car for me Um, and then with this sticky perks remote I marked that we finished the orphanage and then the final thing on Sunday was that I just cried all night and I used this sad munchkin for that so that was everything I'm sorry if this was like a little bit more of a boring or depressing depressing video I feel like this was a depressing video I'm depressed (laughs) reliving this garbage but um anyway that is everything and is that everything is that I think it is yeah I'll see you in the next one bye